We're done. We're done. I can't do this anymore, man. We're done. I literally can't. I can't, I swear. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasable challenge, the challenge where we play every niche in U4 that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with what I think is a very interesting and pretty difficult start as the nation of Iceland. Iceland as a nation can be released from Norway in these two provinces over here in Iceland, of course. And this is going to be a pretty difficult start because we will start off as a subject of a subject because as you all know, Denmark is the overlord of Norway. Norway is their junior partner. Denmark also has Sweden as their junior partner and Holstein as a vassal as well. So breaking free from these guys isn't going to be that easy, especially paired with the fact that we're so far away and pretty much no one is going to want to support our independence. After that, what are we going to do? Where are we going to expand? How are we going to fight anyone over here without, you know, bordering them and stuff like that? And we might have to rely on a colonization game here. So my plan right here is to start off as Iceland, try and get Scotland to support my independence because Scotland does sometimes, you know, happen to support Iceland. At least that's what I've heard. I haven't done actually any trial runs. And then hope that Sweden declares on Denmark, you know, independence and, you know, maybe we can somehow break free. But after that, I don't know what we're going to do maybe colonize maybe try fight someone here i really don't know how this game is gonna go i do think uh we're gonna experience a lot of pain so let's jump in as norway and then as iceland all right all right here we are as norway you know the drill right click on ourselves go down here sap can actually be released from norway as well but uh we already played them uh there's iceland plays the release subject boom uh there we are there's iceland man <laughs> yeah let's go ahead and choose a government reform i'm gonna go with uh what do we go with here I guess, uh, you know, autocracy? Sure, why not? Then let's wait for a month and see what happens. Can Scotland support us? Actually, they don't even know about us, so yeah, let's wait. Okay, a month has ticked over. Let's go ahead and do the estate setup right here. Uh, choose that, whatever that is. Let's do religious. Let's do uh, probably religious diplomats as well and clerical education too. Primacy increased. Let's give the burgers land, patronage, and uh, commercial. That's it. Sell, seize, and uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, we are sort of making a little bit of money right at the start. We got this uh 512 guy which is actually not that bad we'll take him and do i have a diplorep guy i do that's excellent uh let's we're still making a little bit of money will anyone support us yeah we can definitely get scotland all right that's nice but uh we also gotta rely on another element man will sweden declare independence i guess we'll have to see so yeah in the meantime it's uh chilling until that happens and until we can get scotland let's build up our army too i guess or no wait let's build up our navy sweden is having its independence supported by uh lithuania Will that be enough? I don't know. Let's see. In the meantime, we can do some whale watching, even though we're paused. So yeah, truce with Norway is up. There's Scotland. Yeah, just Scotland, man. Meanwhile, no changes here, but they're improving with a bunch of countries. I think Sweden should get more nations to support it. Yeah, but right now like this, it's oh, not doable, man. Not doable. Oh, we got a war. It's what is this? Polish conquest of Kulm. So Poland declared on the Teutons here? Oh, and actually Lithuania is not a subject of Poland. That's why they're still supporting Sweden, which... Well, actually, no, because they're at war now, but they're being supported by Burgundy as well. Hmm, this doesn't really change anything. These guys aren't fighting anyone with boats, right? I still... They're still gonna naval invade and beat me up. Yeah, I don't know if this changes a whole lot. Might as well dev the Renaissance, I guess, while we're uh, here. Tier 2 go reform time, strength and noble privileges. Oh, uh, why am I doing this? It's plus 50% for a vassal, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Break it, bro. Whatever happens, happens. I'm declaring here the Teutons and Mecklenburg won't join Sweden as disloyal. I don't have 50 liberty this time? What the f okay, now I can. Break it. Just gotta defend my capital here, boys. <laughs> uh, I mean, nothing's really happening. We're losing war score here because Scotland is being blockaded by these guys, but... I think if Scotland pieces out and some of these guys get sad, like Mecklenburg and Bremen, I think we can... How much war score do we need for independence, though? Not that much, huh? This has got to be the most boring independence war we've ever done. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I think it's an auto white piece if there's no battles for five years. Right? All right, well, there's about to be some battles right here. I don't even have a general. Um, yeah, let's recruit a general. Decent. Uh, attach these guys. Go there. Get a couple of more infantry guys. And by the way, I tried to fight a battle. I just had to back out. So by the way, we won a naval battle. It doesn't show up here, but then we lost one and it does show up. What's up with that? Ah, Denmark's on low. Uh, yeah, so independence. There it is. Oh, they actually will give me independence. Wait, can I get something else? Oh, <laughs> I actually can get other stuff. Oh my God, that's right. Norway doesn't have forts, do they? Oh, they do. Then why are they... Look, they're willing to give me Finnmark, which has a fort without me occupying it. 
Now, I think I'm going to wait a little more here, maybe for Scotland to go away so they're not being blockaded. Where I, actually, they aren't right now, but to peace out Mecklenburg and Bremen, we can probably take like two or three provinces here. Uh, we can end up bordering Novgorod, who's allied to Lithuania, but we actually have opportunities here. All right, most boring independence war of all time here. Ah, uh, Sweden did declare independence, man. Yeah, they did. Wait, should I peace out before Sweden gets this? Potentially, they are sieging it down. I think I got a little bit of time. Okay, so Denmark wants to land it. Even though I think I can probably beat this stack. Uh, let's just go ahead and dip right here. So there is independence, and I'm actually going to take Finnmark like this. I border Sweden, Novgorod, and Norway. Can I take something else? No, maybe a little bit of money. Yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> I did not know we can do this as Iceland right at the start, but uh, there you go. All right, let's uh, let's just stab up, continue diving the Renaissance. Actually, there it is. Uh, I can even embrace it right away. Sweet. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. Definitely fun opportunities. What the frick? Novgorod declare on me. <laughs> How can we do this? They got 15k. No, they're not that strong. Lithuania isn't in it. If I can get access from someone, dude, I can get it from Norway. What are these guys thinking? The only problem is I, I have like only one transport, but we got time here. Now they got my fort here, but I am slowly moving troops over. Okay, so I moved some troops over and what I was waiting for is this. Okay. I think now we can definitely beat them. 16k. I got 14k. Do they start with any mill modifiers? No, they don't. And if I can get like, oh, I can get that discipline guy right there. There we go. There's a little bit of uh, bonuses. Can I give my ruler mill command? Consort mill command. Not better than the general I already have. All right, let's wait for morale. No, they're coming in to engage me here. I do have more morale and discipline. Their general is 3-2 minus 3-1. It is their terrain, though. Forest, right? It, yeah, dice roll for attacker. I, I'm the attacker here, I guess, because I'm sieging. Hm. We might be able to get this. Let's see. Yes, I did win. Nice. Um, you can't barrage. Uh, I occupied one province, but we're sort of stalemating right here. Uh, you know, with this discovery right here, man, it doesn't really make that much sense for us to go exploration expansion. But uh, uh, lots of you guys wanted to see it in the comments below. So uh, I actually am going to go exploration expansion, even though it's much better to focus on mill stuff so we can expand here. But nevertheless, yeah, we're sort of stalemated here. I don't know. Oh, I got beat up over here and they're gonna beat me here because they're coming in. I think I should just white peace, man. I actually thought we could win, but we've been losing a lot of money, so let's call it. Not satisfied with this, honestly. Yeah, slow game here, boys. It's been about like 30-ish years, man, and I only gotten one province. I'm 36 dev and you know, this is 30, so you can imagine how this is going. Yeah, we're gonna have to colonize, and I think fighting Denmark and Norway here would be the best opportunity, because they are pretty weak after Sweden beat them up. Maybe if we can catch Novgorod too, I guess they're fighting Muscovy now as well, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I really don't. Shoots with these guys is actually up. <laughs> well, I guess since we didn't take anything, it was pretty short, or this war with Novgorod was uh, absurdly long, and I didn't even notice that, but what happens if I want to declare on... England? Why England? Oh, they've allied each other, but England won't help now. I'm not strong enough, man. I'm not strong enough. Even like this, I'm not strong enough. Norway has only 3k troops, but Denmark will ferry them, and they might even try and invade here. It's a Meltec. <sighs> Frick, dude. I am back to making money a little bit. Oh, well, that's how I'm gonna win. <laughs> that's exactly how I'm gonna win. Free company still isn't available till December. Can I get new burger loans here? Yeah, we'll declare soon. Actually, no, man. We'll declare now. I can't risk England coming in. Mill access. Right, right. All right, let's try and do something here. <laughs> yeah, so I've occupied Norway. They haven't come to beat me up here. I can't really get to Denmark without transporting troops, but they got lots of boats. So it's chilling till we get max war score here. You know, tier three governor form time. Sure, let's go with exile colonial companies. See, look at the amazingness of U4. Novgorod, out of 100 games, in 99 of them, they'll die to Muscovy, right? They'll stop existing. Muscovy forms Russia, blah, blah, blah. In the one game where I need exactly that to happen, for them to die, be weak? No. No, they're beating Muscovy. Muscovy is down to 10k troops, no manpower. Lithuania's got 20k. Novgorod's got 11k. And they're actually gonna lose. A strong Novgorod. In a game where I need them to be weak. Yeah, look, they lost. They actually lost, dude. I max war score, and um, this is pretty much what I can take. So they'll be left alive with these two provinces here. Talking about Norway, of course, and I'm going to take the pharaohs and this. Decent expansion, man. I can't complain. In a tough game like this, I really can't complain. Uh, 
Uh, Sweden's looking strong. Novgorod's looking strong. Yeah, Lithuania has a problem with these guys. Once again, an uncommon thing preventing me from doing a... Yeah, let's let's focus on colonization a bit. Uh, finally, I can get an alliance. England is decent. We've become freaking great value Norway over here, except we're even more poor. <laughs> There's our first colony, Greenland. I'm trying to somehow ally Poland and Muscovy now so they can potentially help me versus Sweden and uh, Novgorod. Don't know if that's going to work, though. Let's see. Picked a great game to ally England too, didn't I? Uh, there's a royal marriage with both Poland and Muscovy. Um, yeah, I'll be able to ally Poland. I don't know about Muscovy though. Unknown attitude. They can't see my capital. Yeah, there's Poland. Let's hope it works out. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, it's the same war. Wait, no, it's not the same war. What the frick is going on? Lithuanian subjugation of the Livonian order. Where's the Livonian order? The Livonian order doesn't exist though. Someone annexed them while they declared that war, but Muscovy is gonna take a hit because of this. You know the best part about playing Iceland and Norway, right? You got all these fish provinces, right? Fish is a pretty, it's a pretty good trade good actually before you do what I'm about to tell you. And then you colonize this over here, right? Because, you know, obviously that's the logical place to colonize as Iceland or Norway or whatever. And then once you do, it tanks the price of fish. So, so do I not colonize this? Even if I don't, England or France is so, so stupid. But yeah, I got spare mill points, bro, and I'm deving fish. Can you believe this stuff, man? Can you actually believe this? Just popped off an accidental war declaration on Lithuania. Uh, I alt f right? Ayo, no way. So Lithuania won't help Sweden. What about Novgorod? They will help Novgorod. They got 19k. Sweden is really strong, man. They already got like, um... Yeah, the infantry combat. Oh, and they're multic. Well, they're not a multic ahead, but I can't beat them, man. I'm too poor to beat them. <laughs> Still no advisors, by the way. That's how rich I am. Bruh, I don't know about this. Novgorod's ally -less. Look at everything I managed to get before Sweden, and they declared first. <laughs> uh, for uh, another one of these thingies, they took this by accident. I actually wanted to go with this, and let's start our golden arrow. This is freaking dope, dude. I'm taking everything that I can right here. Sweden already pieced out, by the way. Uh... Yeah, do we do something like this? This is a pretty good um, province here, man. Novgorod itself. Yeah, we gotta take that. Yeah, let's just do this. Sweet. Already colonizing the second thingy in Greenland. Second idea group time, obviously uh, expansion. We got a lot of Orthodox provinces. I'm gonna grant Orthodox autonomy. I'm actually being warned by Muscovy. I didn't notice that. Tier 4 government form time. I'm gonna go lanes for the church. Nice colony in Greenland is done. So what I'm gonna do now is actually take like half of my army uh, over to the new world so we can beat up some natives yeah sweden and uh sweden seems to be pretty strong man this alliance is still going denmark has allied austria so muscovy might be the easiest nation to fight here i'm gonna spy on them unfortunately i did not get to spawn colonialism but uh it will spread to me naturally either way there's another colonist not that we're making money here but yeah yeah let's wait for this war to finish and we'll hit muscovy yeah, so this war ended, uh, Muscovy didn't really lose, I guess. Yeah, they actually won versus the Great Horde. They're, they don't have any allies, but they're stronger than I thought they'd be. We're just so poor, man. That's the thing. We're really, really poor. At least I'm deving. That's still points on the board. Almost at 200 dev. Yeah, man, right now we're just chilling and colonizing, uh, looking for the right time to strike Sweden. What about, oh, well, this is a 3-def province. Ah, of course. Yeah, Sweden, Norway. Nah, man. Nah. Too weak. Too weak to fight anyone, boys. Yeah, there we go. I, I think I tanked the price of fish. Yeah, a bit. I realized I never went through Icelandic ideas. We start off with plus one attrition for enemies and the ability to recruit explorers and conquistadors. Finish off with an additional colonist. In the meantime, we got national unrest and reform progress growth, shipbuilding time, mystery strength and people influence, or the, you know, other religion stuff, light ship combat ability, which is honestly so stupid plus five percent discipline uh, construction and dev discount and a culture conversion cost so decent set of national ideas except for this one right here uh there is colonialism or well the colonialism event either way dude muscovy is melt like seven i'm melt like nine even though we're so poor man i i think we should go and like heavily into debt right here just to beat them up it's just that this war is gonna be so annoying they're so massive i really don't wait they only got one fort <laughs> okay boys let's uh let's go ahead and do this man we can get uh some more troops up over here what i'm gonna do is actually get a couple of cannons and then i am gonna go over force limit honestly like way over maybe i can decrease autonomy too i can i never did this that should increase our force limit by a bit. Yeah, it did. All right, man, we're going to lose a lot of money here, but we need that dev, boys. Let's declare our Muscovy. Two Miltex ahead, slightly bigger army as well. Uh, let's declare for that right there. 
How did I lose this battle, man? I'm too Miltek sober than This is the weakest nation I've ever played, I swear. There we go, Miltek 10. Yeah, they got declared on my Lithuania and Sweden, which is good for me, I guess. But I gotta try and occupy as much as I can here. Meanwhile, Vinland has formed. Yay, that's what's up. And there's a third colonist as well. Okay, Lithuania peaced out. They took a bunch. Yeah, it was a mistake going colonial, man. It's so obvious. Like, wasting money on freaking colonies when we're so poor when I should just when I should have just focused here or here. Why do I listen to you guys? Well, so it's more painful and more fun. Well, for you. <laughs> I'm just hating this war so much. I'm just hating it. Protestant Reformation spawned. Should I go Protestant? I don't know. It does have a colonization thing, I guess. But then again, over here, we do have the... um. The, what you call it? I think that helps. The, yeah, the Treaty of Tordesillas. Meanwhile, we got these here. Do any of these matter? Now, I'm in a horrible situation. No manpower, no money, but England and Poland would help versus Sweden. Lithuania, Bremen, Friesland, Wolgast. England will use their navies. Poland, are they stronger than Lithuania? No, they're not, actually. <laughs> I, I'd rather play Kasim, I swear. Okay, boys, this time, it's gonna be different. Uh, what's NRA? That right there. Call in England, Poland, boom. Okay, England, please. I'm gonna tell these guys to focus here on these... Um, well, these nations that I'm fighting, England should go over there, man. Uh, and then maybe me and Poland can focus on Lithuania. If I give this objective to Poland here, Lithuania has a couple of forts. And maybe you can knock them out quickly. Okay, I'm personally not doing that well, but uh, shout out my allies. Because we've already pieced out Friesland and Bremen for money and Warps, and I white pieced Wolgast. So yeah, I did get beat up. I'm hiding here right now. Now with Poland, let's hope they go for Lithuania. And then we can all, you know, pounce on Sweden, man. Oh, this is annoying. Finally, a war where I feel powerful, man. Even though I've been almost full occupied. It's thanks to my allies. It's not thanks to me. Such a hard game. And annoying, too. Oh, shoot. Poland's out. <laughs> oh, these guys still have a lot of troops. What about England? England is still on high, though. They'll stay in. Okay, just as I lost a battle here, England got Stockholm. So, we're done. We're done. I can't do this anymore, man. We're done. I literally can't. I can't, I swear. What do we do here? There we go. They won't accept. Of course they won't. Of course they won't. I'll do this. I'll do this. Still not enough. Nowhere near enough. I gotta go eat something. Okay, lunch isn't done, so I'm gonna continue playing. Also, I'm cold because I got my hair, so I got a hoodie, but I just became a great power with colonialism, but still, we need to get, like, above Portugal or Poland or something like that. Yeah, a hundred more dev, man. And we got a disaster now. Jesus Christ, why so much religious disunity, though? Oh, because of the Protestant ones. Well, frick it, I guess we'll just have the disaster. 100 more dev. I really don't know where it's gonna come from. Muscovy, maybe, if I can actually beat them, but I'm still so poor. Meanwhile, this is how colonization is going. Vinland is doing pretty nicely, and we're still colonizing here. Who is this? England. England, whatever. Yeah, we got about 45 dev from Vinland, so... Freaking third idea group time. I don't know, man. I really don't. Oh, frick it, I will flip to Protestant. There's religious society. Uh, tier 6 cover form time. Let's go aristocratic court and we can choose one of these. Where's the colonization one? There it is. Look at this dude and I can't disinherit him. Finally ended religious society or whatever it was. Okay, now we're talking a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, bitches, your ass is mine. This may be the final war. It's going really good. We're done. Just bombed perm and got it immediately. You see, chat, that's what happens when, uh, you know, when I have the funds to put my skills on display. But, uh, yeah, let's see right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. 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 Still not enough. <laughs> Still not enough. Just need about 20-ish more dev to get above Lithuania. Well, when we're lacking just a little bit of dev, you know what time it is. It's deving time. Already at 501. Let's just wait. Patience. I say patience. These these idiots are deving too. I need to get above Portugal now. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah. Just a couple of more clicks. They just they just keep we keep going like this. <laughs> you see, colonization is detrimental because uh, New Iceland just formed right here in the colonial U.S. region, which uh, actually cost me dev. Why aren't you fighting the natives? I hear you wondering. It's because I don't want to have to fight uh, 80 million troops for one province, man. And it's not 26 dev. You know how this works. This has been such a stressful campaign. You guys have no idea, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm ready to uh, never play uh, freaking Iceland again, man. If that's not enough dev, I don't know what is. 
Yes, okay, thank you, we're done. Norway doesn't exist, got colonialism with uh, another nation with colonialism below us. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. How can playing an, a simple two-province minor nation be so frustrating? You know why? Because we're dead broke and we start up in two freaking provinces away from everything. <sighs> Overall, pretty normal game. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as Iceland right here. And like I said at the start, I wasn't really looking forward to playing this nation at all due to the remoteness and due to the fact that I knew we were going to be poor. Lots of you guys said in the comments to rely on colonization, of course, which, you know, I did get started. But if I really wanted to do only colonization, dude, we would be playing for like the entirety of the campaign. Even with all those awesome, you know, uh, what you call it? Well, the colonizers aren't active, but we got about 140 uh, settlers per, month, uh, per year and stuff like that. So it was pretty quick. It's just the super, super slow. The only dev I got from that man is 100 dev. That's like, you know, five good provinces or whatever. So colonization, man, when, uh, you know, doing this challenge and releasable specifically, not worth it at all. But yeah, luckily in that first war, we could take this one province right here. After that, a couple of stupid wars where I didn't even win. Luckily, no one declared. But uh, yeah, we were just so weak, honestly. Frick exploration expansion, man. I should have gotten like Diplo or something for strong allies, then quality for the boats too, then economic, maybe something like that. So uh, yeah, glad we got it done. I even dev so much. Wasn't enough because Lithuania and Portugal kept inching up above me. You know, they dev, they conquer as well, I guess. So uh, yeah, 602 dev. Norway doesn't exist. Uh, on the grid powers list. Tried building some buildings, didn't build too many. Economy was good at certain points of the game, but uh, there we go. We actually don't even have loans and it is good now. So yeah, struggle with manpower, struggle with money a lot and uh I, I i'm glad to have played iceland but it's a one and done for me boys never again never again Ooh, that was painful very very painful but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm happy to say that this campaign as iceland in releasables has finally been a success and that has been iceland in releasables now let's spin the wheel let's see which nation we're gonna play next time all right all right here we are in the wheel of pain click to spin let's see what we're gonna play next time please something chill i've been i've been begging for chill games for you to how long, man? No, no, this is not chill. This is not chill. Should be easier than Iceland, though. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Estonia next time to break free from the Livonian order, full annex that may become a great power. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them, and you can become a member today. And join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.